we're picking up. It's a 3-5 women's 55 plus final that just happened at Pictona this weekend. Look at this show court. I'm watching with you. Enjoy. Now, the woman in the near court that just served are both in white with green shorts. Very well color coordinated women, ladies. They are very good at neutralizing the bangers on the far court because they're really good. The ladies on the far court crush their opponents before this match. They're serving. We got the referee. You could listen. I don't have sound because it'd be really annoying to have two sounds. I think that makes sense. I got my coffee. Just watching along with you. So the bangers are really going to try to keep the woman on the near court back, right? They're going to return deep. They're going to keep hitting hard at the lady's feet. They don't want to dig in more. And the bangers are doing a pretty good job keeping the ladies in the white and green back, right? Because the ladies in the white and green want to dink. I don't know how much I can say that. Need more coffee. <laughs> That's beautiful. The bangers are playing the middle. Yeah, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about that. And this is when it gets pretty good. I watched this live if I remember right. Watch the girls in the near court really handle the bangers. They're not swinging a lot. That wasn't the best point. I'm not going back. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong. And this is Pictona. Basically, all the medal matches were played on this beautiful court. They announced it. And unlike the PPA, they really showcase amateurs. I really hope the U.S. Open is in Naples next year at Pictona. It is that beautiful. They just built a huge addition on top of that, like, 48 courts. They're going to have so many courts. Beautiful. No tape lines. All beautiful courts you're playing on. I'm like the PPA. Enjoy the PPA. What do you do think? So how do you neutralize the bang? What they do on the near court, they're hitting deep. But if you watch the forehands, they're not bringing it back, right? Because when you bring it back really far, what happens, you're going forward and you're going to pop it up, which the banger loves because they get to put it away, right? So they really do this motion good, right? If it's above the mat, that hit it hard at the feet. Let's see. And that's a horrible example. Joey, you should watch these matches before you put them on. But, you know, that would ruin my spontaneity. What an eye. Leaving an out ball go. And if you're playing a banger, right? If someone's playing me because I am a banger, if I'm swinging hard and I let and they let a couple out, ball, out balls go to start the game, I, my whole mentality truly changes. I'm not hitting the ball as hard. I'm really kind of second guessing myself. So let those out balls go if you're playing a banger and kick the ball. And keep it at that feet. That's what they did this point. Again, this is the woman's 3-5 final that happened this weekend at Pictona, over 55 I believe. And Lady probably went for a little too big of an angle, right? She's trying to get to the four foot so that Lady has a tough backhand dink instead of forehand. Most people speed it up on that forehand. I don't know why I do this all the time. That's too much music. Everyone watches too much news these days. It's all negative, you know? You gotta be positive. It's gonna be a good day. It's Tuesday. You just woke up. Hopefully, you know? You didn't wake up. Can't help you. And yeah, I had a, some good results this week and I got a lot of games on All In Pickleball. Subscribe. And again, that 
That third shot lob is not a bad play, as long as you don't use it that often. This was on Sunday night, so this was late. These ladies played probably for over six, seven hours. Beautiful. See that angle she hit, right? She's not, the correct play is probably hit that angle where the kitchen line meets the sideline because bangers are really bang, and if you hit that angle, it takes them out of position. You can hit at that feet as well. The other thing you could do is a fourth shot drop shot. So if they bang it, bring them into the kitchen, right? If you bring them into the kitchen, they can't bang. You change people, places, and things. Change your situation. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Beautiful. So what did she do? Hit it, dropped it, or dinked it, whatever you want to say. But the lady who's playing forehand middle, she hit on the far foot because that's tougher than to bend over and they can't speed it up on that low backhand. Ever Welsher, one of the best senior pros, I had an awesome dinking session with her. She doesn't aim for a particular foot when they're dinking. However, she says she likes to get them moving to the backhand. So when she brings it to the forehand, they can't speed it up, right? Because I'm moving so much. And this was some of the best information. Thanks so much, Eva. <laughs> I was at the uh, Atlanta Open and she was warming up and I just walked up and she's like, I'd love to give you a segment. Super nice lady. You know, if you're number one in senior pro, most people aren't that nice. Eva, what are you doing later tonight? <laughs> I might have to edit that out. Ah, whatever. This is all in pickleball. Anything goes. Back to the match, really. I don't have ADD. We got a Dinkin' more, right? Not a lot of Dinkin' Moors. Let me guess. Oh, she wants that back. It's That's kind of a split-second decision, right? She's Dinkin' and it's a pop-up. And she probably should just put it away, but she has the Dinkin' mentality. How do you avoid this? And I'm giving away all my secrets here and all in pickleball. You avoid this by having a Dinkin' pattern in your head before you go on the court, right? So my dinking pattern, when I start the game, I'm going two out wide, one middle, two out wide, one middle. If I have a dinking pattern in my head and I get a pop-up, I'm going to know what to do about it. I'm not constantly thinking about where my dink's going to go. I know where my dink's going to go if I get a dink. If they pop it up, I know what to do. Put it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. We'll have karaoke later today. I get zero views on my karaoke. I'm going to keep getting better. If you're out there playing pickleball, keep getting better. Don't listen to those haters. Beautiful approach in the kitchen. This is textbook. And I think you should do a good job, too. Classic, um... You know, you have the big race, you have the turtle and the, um, I think it's a squirrel. The squirrel just runs too fast, gets tired, and the turtle just keeps moving slowly. Turtle in the hair, I think it was a jackrabbit or something. That's beautiful, good point. So if you're a lady out there and you're thinking of playing a 35, 55 plus final, I would think, or entering that division, this is what it looks like. I think this is a good indication 3-5 women's play. And if you're in that tournament, what I would advise is play that backhand. Usually 3-5 players. And again, what do they do? Play the ladies' backhand out wide. They got a pop-up. Usually 3-5 players have a better forehand than backhand. So keep that in mind when you're returning, when you're serving, when you're dinking. No climax to that statement. But it was a good statement, show. It was very good. You should be proud. I live alone. I talk to myself a lot. And I like taping myself because then I can say I'm not crazy, you know? You're just doing a good job, Joey. Keep it, keep it up. <laughs> no one's going to watch this. Oh, 
she can kick herself. Because those bangers are making it tough for them to get to the kitchen, right? She got to the kitchen and missed the thing. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. That's beautiful, right? The banger hits it hard. What does she do next? She neutralizes it. Probably has a light grip, right? If you're playing a banger, have a light grip, maybe a three. If you're holding an egg and it breaks, your grip's too tight for bangers, right? Because you want to really absorb a lot of that power, lighter grip, and that four shot drop shot works well. And again, that angle, she had that angle out wide, that works well against bangers too. It does. It does. I mean, Beautiful drop. Oh, she got a net caught. I don't know if she apologized, but I hope she didn't. I think insincere apologies in pickleball is bad for the sport. I submitted a rule proposal. No apologies ever. If you hit someone, they should congratulate you for hitting them because it's part of the game. You get a net caught, don't apologize. You say, I did something good today. You probably didn't. And that's a match. Rewatch this. I probably should rewatch this and recommentate 